Hey guys, we got us a no cooling call here. Um, I have been here before, but I do not remember much of anything about it. Let's go in and see what's going on. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, go. Here you go. You see, I'm not gonna hurt anybody. All right, what's it been doing? Just running and not. Running and not cooling. Right. All right. Where's my unit? It's up in the attic. In the... It's up in the attic. Okay. You, can you show me how to get up there? <laughs> it's kind of difficult now. I got it turned off right now. You got it turned off? Yeah, I turned it off because I didn't just want to keep running. System fan, we're going. System, we're going to put it on cool. All right, I heard everything come on. Look, look, let me see your access. Now, why they put it up there, I can't tell you. But it has not been cooling, right? Right. It does make things a little bit difficult. I'm gonna check outside first, okay? Okay. And I was thinking about changing this thermostat. You have thermostat? Yes, ma'am. You don't like that one? Oh my word, did y'all see that access? Mmm. What you want to bet it's gonna be low on refrigerant. It is four o'clock and it was 92 degrees at 12 today. So I imagine that attic is going to be scorching hot. Field charge, six pounds, 15 ounces. That means it's gonna be R22. fourteen and 74. It is 84 degrees in there. Compressor has been replaced, so this may not be R22. Pull the cover off and see if this is a heat pump. It is, which means this needs to be removed. All right, so 
this somebody has put a trap on the emergency drain see my sub cooling superheat right now it does look like it's R22 that's in there it is only a little bit off at what did I say 84 degrees in there that suction pressure should be higher all right so it's not 407 C It could be 422B. MO99, it could, no, it's not gonna be MO99. I think I'm gonna stick with um, R22 on this one. Put, try to put up some temperature probes inside and see if we're getting a really bad temperature drop or something all right right now that is my temp drop 7.1 7.2 which is nowhere near enough These are my pressures for R22. That is low. I'm not seeing any kind of markings to tell me it's anything other, other than R22. The other closest thing is 422B. But considering that temp drop, I think it's gonna be R22. And there is a possibility that I have a heat strip on or something because that tent drop is really low now I gotta try and get in that attic and I'm not sure yeah I'm not looking forward to that
no no heat strip stuck on. One six twenty sixteen Linux coal. different than what I saw a little while ago. No, I can't see what I got out here. I cannot charge that up. I still got my probes on the inside. See what kind of temp drop we're getting. Two point four. All right, I didn't do anything different. All I did was open it up and check to see if the heat strips were on asked her if I could come back tomorrow and do a leak search because it is brutally hot up there. 
but no, I can't charge it. I had offered to charge it, and I'm not going to do that. That's going to be a waste of money. All right, because I knew I wasn't getting any of the work on that. I told her because she's a teacher, no charge for today, and I'm walking away. I tried to tell her she said she got a, a whole new system she didn't want to hear it she knows she got a new system I don't know what somebody has done to this poor woman and told her she got a new system but that is not what she got not at all Anyway, that's another mark on the home warranties. You never know what you're going to get. Apparently, she got a whole lot of real bad. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.